Oh my God, I look ridiculous. Do you guys ever just feel like someone's drunk, crazy, and the one who like just randomly pops up at random family gatherings, you don't see her for like three, four years, and when she comes in, it's like, oh, there's crazy Aunt Marge. I feel like I look like that. I feel like I look like somebody's crazy, drunk aunt who just can't get her fucking life together, because that's exactly how I feel. It is so fucking hot outside. I'm over exaggerating, but and let me just strip for you right right here. It's actually really not that hot. It's actually fairly decent in terms of temperature wise. It's only 89 degrees right now, which sounds ridiculous. It's June 2nd and I'm saying it's only 89 degrees, but it really is only 89 degrees. It really doesn't feel that bad. You do get used to the heat down here in Houston. Heat I can always handle, even though typically in Maryland and in Philly, like with the two areas I pretty much grew up in. 89 is pretty much like a really hot day over there during summertime. Like, yes, you do get 95 de degree days, but it's rarely ever over that. Yeah, this is like a cool day for us down in Houston. But the one thing that just fucking kills me is a goddamn fucking humidity, man. I, today was just like, today was fucking crazy. And I just need to, I need to vent about it with you guys while I open some packages. I did get a couple packages in. It was Memorial Day over the weekend. So everybody was running a Memorial Day sale. So I picked up a couple of things. Nick's birthday is on Friday. It's coming up, but if you guys have been around here for about a year, you'll know about a year ago, I did take a lot of time off of YouTube and it's because my grandmother got really sick this time last year. So this, this is a weird, year for me this time um it's great because obviously it's nick's birthday i love to celebrate him and his birth and um, make him feel special during this time but it is kind of weird because i'm coming up in the one year anniversary of my grandmother's death and i specifically i'm literally getting chills thinking about it i've come to terms with it i am still sad over it but i'm not i can talk about it by this point without having to like cry my eyes out but it is very weird this time of year because i want to be super happy that it's nick's birthday but i still have very vivid imagery of this time last year i found out memorial day weekend last year. I think it was the Friday before Memorial Day. So about five days ago this time last year, I found out that my grandmother was really sick. She had been sick for a really long time, but I found out that she was essentially admitted back into the hospital. Essentially her cancer had come back and it had spread like wildfire. And she really wouldn't go home after that point. I had flown back to Maryland a week later. I literally was given like four days notice and I, I booked a ticket to go home that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which I did. I went back and I talked to my grandmother. I saw my grandmother for the last time. And I actually went back the following week. When I went back the following week, she was actually incoherent. She was um, by that point under morphine so she was still alive but she wasn't coherent it's just a weird time of year this is just the first year i'm going through it where it's like okay it's been a year and it this year has go, gone by so quickly but it just it feels very strange i am in the midst of planning my wedding like we're into the final details the last five months of it i did officially um, hire a wedding coordinator who's going to help me out for the last six months um, and i've been in contact with her a lot and i've been in contact with like my mom a lot about the wedding stuff so i don't know if it's just because i'm being nostalgic because it's the wedding time frame and i know that my grandmother's not going to be there. I know that she'll like be there in spirit, but the only reason I say this is because every time I go to think about doing something wedding related, my grandmother pops into my mind. And all I keep thinking about is literally this time last year when I went to go see her, the last thing that she said to me, and it's like a scene out of a movie. It made me bawl my eyes out when I walked out of her room, her nursing room, literally the last thing that she said to me, which I will always remember, I had like given her a hug. I gave her a kiss goodbye and I was like, I'll see you in a week from now. Cause I had already planned on coming back the following weekend to like be there. Cause I knew that it wasn't going to be long. It was going to only be a couple more weeks until she had like passed. And right when I was walking out, she's like, yeah, I'll see you next week. She's like, Hey hon, just like, remember I'm, I know that I'm not going to be there for your wedding. Oh my God. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> oh wow. This is weird thinking about it. I've never actually, I've only talked about this once out loud, but my grandmother literally looked at me and she was like, you know, I know I'm not gonna be there for your wedding, but just know like I will be there and I will see your wedding and I'll be with you every step of the way. Um, wow, I haven't talked about that in a long time. Wow, 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 wow. Woo, I'm getting emotional. I just get really deep with you guys for, for no reason. I have no idea. Anyway, I just had a really weird, really weird kind of day. <laughs> And I just am really chatty and I wanna to talk to you guys. I woke up actually really on time and early this morning, was gonna get ready for the gym, putzed around and then went to the gym, actually had a really good workout, but then I was running late cause I had to like wash my hair, dry my hair at the gym. It's super humid out, so my hair didn't sit properly, which is why I look wild and crazy. I had it down, I try to style as much as possible, but I just got back from walking the dogs and my hair's not. That's originally, why I picked up the camera to talk to you guys is because I felt like crazy nuts. So I literally am like, just getting back from work. I got a bunch of packages in though. That's, that's why I picked up the camera to do this very long first scene of my vlog. So I bought these little hair bands, these little clear hair bands on Amazon. They were like five bucks. It came in a case of like, I don't know, like 2000. I don't need 2000 of these, but it was $5 and I couldn't find anything that even had half of this, like 500 or a thousand of them was only like a dollar cheaper. So I just went with the ones that were 
more. I will never use 2,000 of these, but I have them now. I also purchased, and I did not need this. I did not need this, but this has been resurfacing on YouTube. People rave about it and they raved about it when it originally launched. I never picked it up. I don't know why. It's been resurfacing, so I figured I would grab it. It is from NYX. It is their, it's their Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation, full coverage foundation. I got mine in the shade Buff. I didn't know what shade I was going to be, and I have a feeling this is probably gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty dark on me. Oh, this might work. I mean, it's very yellowy, but that's what everybody said on YouTube too, is that it was very yellowy. This is probably gonna work. It was literally eight bucks, so I grabbed it. I also bought some shoes. I bought some shoes on Nike. I have been needing to get a new pair of workout, well, I've, no, let me not lie to you. I have not been needing to get a new pair of workout shoes. I just, I've been feeling myself, all right? I've been getting back into my workout routine. I still have not done my, at this point, I'm just gonna wait for my two month update for my breast dog video. I have, I've been meaning to do a one month update, but I'm really not back into like my full, full, full workouts quite yet but I am back into working out consistently and I've kind of been feeling myself, all right? Um, I still haven't been able to go back to do like a lot of my upper body stuff yet. So I've been focusing a lot on my, on my booty booty and which is fine because I wanted to grow my booty booty and the only way to really get remotivated to get back into the gym and really kill it is to get new gym gear. I got a new pair of shoes last week that are not workout shoes. I, I need to, I have a shopping problem. I really don't ever treat myself to things. So when I get in the mood to treat myself, I really kind of go all out. I haven't really spent that much money the past couple of weeks. I'm not gonna justify it to you guys. I just wanted to buy stuff. These are specifically for working out. I thought they were really cute because they, they were 20% off. So I got them really cheap. I think they were like 60 bucks as opposed to being like 80 or 90 bucks. They're the comfort ones. They have flat soles so I can wear them to obviously lift. I can wear them to run. They're really cute because they have like this cute little pink design. So it matches like my aesthetic and then they're white all over. Got mine in size six. This might be like a little snug. I'm normally like an Adidas wearer, not really Nike. So we'll see but I am like pumped about that, so. Okay, well, I'll see you guys, I'm assuming at some point on Friday. Morning guys, today is day one of Nick's almost birthday. Uh -huh. Birthday's tomorrow, huh? Of my what? Your almost birthday. My almost birthday. Yeah. We're heading over to the gym right now. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a later start. It turned eight o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go down to Lifetime in Baybrook to go get a quick little lifty lift in. Then we're gonna head down, get a little bit of food in Galveston, go to the beach for a little bit, grab a little bit of lunch in Galveston. And then maybe if Nick is still up for it, I'll take him shopping afterward. We'll see. Okay, we'll see you guys in the gym or in Galveston, wherever I pick up the camera. actually ended up at a resort <laughs> we went to go get lunch um by the way guys we're in galveston hey what's up after the workout i don't think i filmed at the gym at all did you at all nope okay no b-roll from the gym yet again but uh yeah we went to go get breakfast in galveston or lunch i guess technically i got breakfast you got lunch um, in Galveston, the first place that we looked up said they had all day breakfast and at 11 didn't know, but it actually ended up being inside the San Luis Resort, which was super cool because I didn't, I didn't know that there was something that pretty in Galveston before. So we're going to go try to find some sunscreen now and then probably just come back here. You think we can park here still? Yeah. Even though technically we're not a hotel guest. It's fine. It said strictly enforcing that sign. How are they enforcing it? See anything in these people's cars? I don't know. Or just go park on the street. Yeah, I guess I could do that too. Well, we're gonna go get sunscreen and then we're gonna go try to find to go to the beach. Try to find to go to the beach, that's not English. Try to find to go to the beach, yeah. <laughs> try to find a spot and then go to the beach. covered in sand guys from head to toe. Your phone's covered in sand. I know, everything's covered in sand. <laughs> Literally everything. Wearing my fake Amazon ring by the way guys, did I show you earlier? Nick's mad because I wanna I wanna trade my actual ring in for something that looks like this. It's four carats for 15 bucks on Amazon. Why why even buy a real diamond ring when you can get one that looks so good on Amazon for 15? And if I lost this I wouldn't feel terrible. All right, 
Are you ready? Oh, I left my thing. Oh. Do you guys see what we have to do with the dogs? I literally have to put a chair in front of the cage. Oh, come on. My space is still such like a mess, such a mess. I haven't ever even gotten this really together. I put a bunch of stuff in my drawers, but so I'm not really doing makeup tutorials anymore. It's just kind of sitting here. I know, I know I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, oh, you pulled, oh, okay. All right, there you go. She always tucks this into the cage there um, and she well, she definitely threw open her cage. God damn it. Hi, puppies, hi. But our cage, like it latches, you have to lift it up to put it down. Um, so she's been learning how to get out. We just got home from the beach. It was about an hour and a half drive. Very, very, very long. Yes, I am wearing two bras still. It is what it is. Oh, I just got out of the shower, sorry. Um, yes, and I am wearing a full face of makeup still. I just literally rinsed my body off because it was super sandy at the beach. It was very, 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 very windy today. And God, my makeup actually held up really well, surprisingly. My eye, by the way, has been bloodshot for like a year and I don't understand why. I don't know if it's cause like allergies down in Texas. It's actually been like bloodshot for a very long time. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but I've gone to the eye doctor and I had like a little bit, like my blood pressure was like a little bit too high in that eye, but this wasn't like anything significant or anything to worry about. It was just because I had dry eyes, but it hasn't really gone away in a year. I am overdue to get my eyes checked, but it does kind of freak me out that it's still always, like it's always like that. Unless I put in like the Lumify eye drops and it does go down, but it was really fun actually. It was a really good time. I didn't really vlog too much. I got like some B-roll shots, I think. We ended up just going to work out in the morning, um, which I think I, I think I kind of talked to you guys about. I'm sorry, I always say I'm gonna film at the gym and it's just really difficult for me to because I just, I, I don't like, Nick and I tend to do two different things at two different times. So his upper body day is normally like my lower body day or vice versa, it ne they never fall on the same wavelength. Tomorrow though, we are both doing arms and cardio. So maybe I'll do like a little bit of filming if I can. I really don't know if I'm this, all, this is all just gonna be one big vlog or it's gonna be multiple vlogs. I'm really not quite sure because I am so far behind in all of my filming. And this is like, I love my hair, but like, because I dye my hair dark, it makes it look like I'm bald, but like I just, I am just getting my roots growing in, but whatever. Went to Lifetime in Baybrook. It was really nice to actually go back there because as you guys know, I, I or maybe you don't know, I used to work at the Lifetime in Baybrook. I did grand open that club as the, um, as one of the managers there. And I left there just before, like literally a day before the club shut down for COVID where I obviously took over my job that I'm doing right now. So it was nice to actually go to the club and, act, and like work out, but it was very weird for me because I really don't know like anybody that's there anymore. Only one of my team members that was there from when I was there, I actually hired her when she opened the club, she was still there. Anyway, we ended up going um, after working out down to Galveston. Nick wanted to grab a little bit of brunch. So we ate at the San Luis and we got a great view of their little resort area. And then after where we went to go drive around for a little bit to, I had to go to Kroger to go get sunscreen because I need sunscreen guys. Here's the main difference. I feel like this is a lot of couples, two completely different things. Sunscreen, tanning oil. And Nick was like, this is Nick's. He got body dry oil tanning sunscreen, SPF 15. He's like, oh, well, it's SPF 15 and it's really good for me. Sir, this is a tanning oil. I mean, you're literally just rubbing baby oil all over your body to make you more tan and burnt and crispy and like aged. Whereas me, bitch, I'm like, give me the SPF. This is SPF 50. We were only out there for like an hour to an hour and a half though, cause it was super windy and we got there really late cause we were driving around, couldn't find a spot. It was just like, it was a shit show, but it was fun. It was really nice. I actually don't think I got, I can only smell my skin when I get burnt. I didn't really get too burnt, but yeah. Um, Nick went down to the pool for a little bit and I'm going to edit, 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 edit. Cause I still have to get up my breast augmentation part two video. It's been like two and a half weeks since I posted my part one. And then I'll probably see you guys either in the morning. I'm not quite sure. I feel like this vlog was already super long. and didn't get too much stuff done, but yeah, guys, I don't know if I'm going to end this here. If I'm not, I will see you guys tomorrow um, for Nick's birthday. What do you got there? Just a couple guys. Yeah? Just a few? <laughs> it's the birthday boy! Oh, this little guy? No. Hey, Bubsy. Oh, no, Goosey's birthday's in two days. Goosey, it's your birthday in two days, June 6th. You wanna stand, you wanna show them the pants I got you for your birthday? Right here. I got him a pair of jeans for his birthday. They're, what Same. brand are they? Right here. Fugami? 
Yeah. Totally wrong. Frame. <laughs> Loam slim from Nordstrom. Slip fit. Fra frame. <laughs> frame. Frame. <laughs> Le hon. Le hon. <laughs> Stuff. Which one first, babe? Start from the top down. Oh, oh. First up, feels like, hold on, shoes, oh, spongy shoes, hold on. You just open it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, feels like something spongy. Okay. So it's for your drinks. Nipple covers. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's for your drinks, so you can have, because you said that you wanted the square ones. Yeah, for sure, but right? how do the you do ones. it, though? This? No, you just like, put water what? in it. What are these for? They're like round ones. That way you How do you get them out? Oh, you pull it out? Yeah. So you do this. Oh. Yeah. Or technically all you do is you leave it something? like... No, no, no. You just fill them up here. So that way when you open them up... Oh, the yeah. Juice. They're balls. Yeah. <laughs> they're balls. That's what this is for. So you put this in here. Yeah. Fill it up. God. Dope. So a small Good gift. That's a small one. Good gift. Fill it up. I know. Cute, right? I didn't buy that for you. I'm sorry. To Megan Hudicek from Eagle Fulfillment. Oh, I didn't buy that for you. That's yours. You sure? I don't know. I think so. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, don't ruin my keys. Wait, is that one? I'm gonna open it. I don't know what it is. It's good for you. Oh, that's what I wanted. Yes, your hat. Your hat. Bam! Your hat. I already have this hat, but I love it. And I want one to lift his, and one just to not lift in. That's because his hat that he has right now is super stinky. He's Li wearing Lifetime it. hat, lifetime hat. But I have one of these. I just don't want to wear it. So I don't want it to stink. Oh, you don't want actually that one doesn't stink already? Uh, no, I want an Iowa hat I can just wear around. He wears a hat to work out in every day that literally it every has day. to be like a, a year old. It smells so bad. His bathroom smells it's not a year terrible. Old. Well, that's how bad it is. It smells terrible. There's one of my things that's coming in today, but I don't know. That's This is probably yours. We'll see. You can still open it. Sounds like your gift. It's yours. Oh, <laughs> it's Skims that I bought myself on Memorial Day. All right, what it's else? Right. This? Yeah, that one's yours. That's your big gift. My nobles. Stop! You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm just really good at this. <gasps> what Shocking. is this? Shocking! Navuel. Navuel. <laughs> I like my legs. Oh, 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 the ones I wanted. Bam! Bam! Those are expensive, so you better like them. I like them. Try them cool. on. I know. No, you never try stuff on when I get you, so tomorrow I will. Tomorrow I will. Every time I buy her something, like, try it on. No. No. Why would I try it on? When I wear it, I'll try it on. Because that's what people do. Are you Love happy? Love yeah, what? We're not going to you. wear your hat like that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I just put it on. I'm not sideways. I don't even want to wear it. I just put it on to be fun. <laughs> You're so annoying. I don't know what that means. Thanks, guys. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, Look at this precious little girl. She's doing a little spring turn for us. Say it's my birthday in two days. Say, I love you guys. I'm going to be seven years old. Goobies. Goobies. Goose. Treats. Treats. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. What do you want, babe? Morning, guys. Uh, yes, I am in my bra right now, but you know what? People wear bathing suits on YouTube and Instagram all the time. I just haven't had a chance to really get dressed yet. I'm opening up my Skims package here. Obviously, you saw it yesterday. It came in a, a, a couple days earlier than I was anticipating. So when Nick was opening his presents yesterday, I thought it was a gift for him. Yes, I realized I didn't wrap his presents. I think I mentioned this before, but Nick um, actually had requested that I buy his tires for his truck for him because he did. He wanted to get like new tires and rims and all that kind of stuff. And then literally this time last week, so like four or five days before his birthday, he decided that he didn't want tires anymore. <laughs> he wanted actual gifts, which is totally fine. I just, um, I wasn't prepped to actually have like gift wrap or anything because I pretty much just ordered things when he told me that he didn't want tires anymore. So like, fuck, well, I was just planning on fronting the money for things. But so that's why I kind of just handed him boxes because I wasn't actually even sure that any of the boxes would come in on time because I just ordered them a few days beforehand. But I had already at that point ordered things for Memorial Day weekend for like myself just to get sales. These are things that I, I was going to buy this year anyway. So I was like, you know what? I'm already going to buy them. I might as well get them on sale. And Skims was one of them. So I already, I don't know if I've talked about this before. I already have a pair. Well, Wait, 
right, back up. Um, I bought two things on Skims. I got two pairs of shapewear because obviously I am getting married later this year. And I just love shapewear. Um, I, I always loved shapewear. Yes, obviously I am more of a smaller individual, but I don't care how small you are. I don't care how big you are. I feel like every, pe every person still just likes to feel compressed. <laughs> like I just always like to feel like I'm held in, even like in normal clothes. Like I just like, I don't like feeling super, well, this is gonna be very ironic of me to say, considering I'm sitting here in a bra, but I just like to feel a little bit more held in, a little bit more covered than the average person. Uh, I'm, I'm choosing to say this in a very weird time, considering this is the least amount of clothing I've ever had on online before, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, and I do tend to wear like a, my, my shapewear when I'm going out in like dresses or even to work if I have a dress on. It's just nice to feel a little bit compressed. And if you're wearing a bodycon dress, you know, you just feel nice and tight. So I, I've already had this one before this is their seamless solutions sculpting short which goes above the knee i wish that they had they have two online they have one that goes below the knee and the one that goes above the knee but the one that goes above the knee for me doesn't tend to go um, it's not short enough like i wish that they had one that was a little bit higher up on the on the on the thigh itself like a mid thigh this one goes just right above the knee for me but i love this because it gives your booty like a little bit of a lift um, I don't know what, uh, I think I got the exact same one that I already have, to be honest. Yeah, I got the legit exact, exact same pair that I already have because I've had my pair for, oh my God, three years, four years. And I've tried a lot of shapewear before. They look super tiny. Yes, they are super tiny, but that's the one thing about Skims, Kim Kardashian's brand, is that they always look super small until you put them on and then they actually do stretch out. This is the pair that I currently own. I've had this one again for three, four years and it's in great shape. It's a little bit more stretched out than this one because obviously I've, I've worn this one. This one I haven't worn. And the color is a little bit more faded in this, obviously because it's, it's very well used. But I got the exact same size, the exact same everything. I got an extra, extra small slash extra small. And, oh, buddy, I will tell you, this is a struggle to put on at first, but I'm glad that I didn't go up to an extra small, small or a small medium or whatever the next size up is because I don't think that it would fit well enough. But what I like um, compared to other shapewear brands like Spanx or like Maidenware, or all those other ones, is that she has a cutout for the gusset, which is your booty cutout. So if you can see right here, you actually, when you put it on, the outline here goes around your glutes and it helps to plump them up. So not only are you sucking in your belly and sucking in your thighs, but it plumps up the booty. So you're not sucking that in as well. Because a lot of like Spanx, um, they kind of compress everything, not just the areas that you want to be compressed. So she's a fucking genius to be actually, for, to come out with these best shapewear. I've ever had. I do also have her full body suit, not like the one with the long sleeves and the long legs, but the one that's just like a strap here. It goes down into a thong as well. So it's like a full body suit. I got that also in an extra, extra small slash extra small. And that thing is tight. I'm not a fan. I'm not, I should have just returned it. I didn't though. It's probably sitting in a bag somewhere because I, I did wear it to work one day. And the clip on that is still in most, I hate when brands do this, but they put the clip right underneath your vagine right around your crack area and it just it's really uncomfortable and because it is so compressive it's really holding that up so it just to me it's not comfortable it's not comfortable i should have either sized up to a small medium and the problem is like a lot of body suits when it's really uncomfortable you can just unclip it and like tuck it in with that though you can't because as soon as you un unleash the the clip on it it actually just springs back up and it's not giving you the compression that you need so i don't recommend that one or if i do i should say it's not that i don't recommend it if you do get that one size up in that but this one i would say stay quote unquote true to size it looks tiny because she is but she does stretch the other thing that i got was pretty much this exact thing except in a thong version and i haven't tried this one out it's a sculpting mid waist thong this one i got a small medium in just because of my experience that i had with the bodysuit i just i didn't want to do the whole bodysuit thing again because it was it's so fucking uncomfortable like i couldn't even sit and when i sit down at work i do cross my legs a lot and even like not crossing my legs i couldn't do it i couldn't do it i couldn't do it they do have sizing like a size chart on the back as well and yes i think that that is accurate to a certain extent but i don't know this one i got in the shade sand yeah this one's gonna be so much better but like even look at this this is a small medium i am not a medium in anything i'm always an extra small to a small just because i'm a small human but this is a medium and a medium looks like it would even be too small on me but they do that's why i say that they do give you really 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 good stretch so i hope that this is worth it because this one doesn't have a clip at the bottom. Maybe I should have just stuck with my extra small small. The only reason I got this one though is because they don't offer this in a mid thigh. Like I wish the 
this pair was like up to here as opposed to down there because most of my dresses are either they do go above the knee but just like just like a little long and sometimes when you have to like cuff them under or like you know what i mean like tuck them under it gives you like a weird roll and it like it really, it's so compressive that it kind of cuts off circulation if you do a double lining meaning you cut it under but whatever i don't know yeah so that's what i got